Three seeds, uh, four seeds are left in. Big upset earlier on, of course, with Srikanth Kadambi being beaten in two straight games. That opening game against Zinudin, 28 minutes. It was an absolute thriller. And then the young Malaysian just raced away with it, 21-9. Well, it's only happened once before in the men's singles discipline. You have to go back to 2010 when the event was staged in Johor Bahru, when it was an all-Malaysian men's singles final. And one of the players involved, in fact, the player that won that day, is about to enter centre stage here in 2016 because Lee Chong Wei, the number one seed, is in the semi final against Tommy Sugiato. There he is, former world number one. So Tommy Sugiato looking a little apprehensive perhaps and well with a 13 and zero head to head against this man, that's perhaps understandable. Lee Chong Wei currently number five in the world ranking, the 33 year old who's from Penang, born in Georgetown, the capital of Penang. Malaysia. There he is, the legend. His opponent. Tommy Sugiato, Indonesia. Tommy Sugiato against Lee Chong Wei. Tommy Sugiato, the number three seed. Uh, Lee Chong Wei, the number one seed, of course. So the umpire for this, the toss of the coin, the first duty. Richard Ting from Singapore, our umpire for this one. Now, 33 years of age, my goodness, didn't Lee Chong Wei end last year so strongly. Number five in the world ranking, of course, he was former world number one. He's not the tallest of athletes, as you can see, uh, but four consecutive titles here at this event from 2009 to 2012. Last year, six finals from 10 tournaments, winning the French Super Series, the China Super Series, and the Hong Kong as well. Three Super Series events back to back. They weren't consecutive weeks. Of course, China and Hong Kong were consecutive weeks, but they were consecutive Super Series tournaments. And that was after some people had beginning to write him off. So to Tommy Sugiato, 27 years of age. She has spent a total of nine weeks as number three in the world ranking. Now, 175, that's five foot nine. Born in Jakarta. Oldest son of former world champion Ichuk Sugiato. And of course, Tommy Sugiato, well, he's making his third pre appearance here at this particular event. The last two occasions he's played here, 2011 and 2012, he's lost to the man that he's facing once again across the net. So two of those 13 previous meetings were in this event. Last time they met, though, uh, was in the first round of the Hong Kong Super Series. And with Lee Chong Wei going on to take the title, of course, he won that a match in November at the end of last year. So as far as uh, both these players getting through to this semi-final stage, Lee Chong Wei, well, he hasn't dropped a game. In fact, his longest match was in the quarterfinal yesterday against the number 10 seed, AJ Jayaram. That was 35 minutes as we look at our court officials of the last of our semi-finals. Tommy Sugiato, well, he went the full distance in the second round against Sai Pranith of India. So the harder path has been fought and won by Ladies the Indonesian. Omarai, Tommy Sukiato, Indonesia. And Omarai, Lee Chong Wei, 
มาเลเซียมีจังหวะดูซับลาบงเพลย Gone wide. Well, I was talking to you in the first of the men's singles about Shrikanth Kadambi and how he now has to deal with pressure and the burden of expectation. If ever a man has had to deal with pressure and expectation, it's Lee Chong Wei. The whole of Malaysia are their hopes of a first ever Olympic gold medal, and that's not just in badminton. That's in any sport, uh, really. Have been born on the shoulders of Lee Chong Wei, and still will be. Come Rio, that is the focus. Three, Four World one. Championship finals. Apologises for the good fortune. Times I watch these two fine badminton players play against each other, and I always say to myself, "Now, what has Tommy Sugiato got to hurt Lee Chong Wei?" The problem for Tommy Sugiato is he's such a, a a good, consistent player. Does he have many disguises on his shots? No. Does he have the power of the smash to beat the superb? Reflex actions and defence of Lee Chong Wei, not often. Look at that, you see. So how does he win his points? This rally really exemplifying what I'm trying to say. Good, good rally. Now oh, that'll get the lungs working. But it's an issue. It's a serious point. It is an issue for Tommy Sugiato. How is he going to win the points? What tactics has he got to use to finally record his first ever victory over Lee Chong Wei? Landed in. Yep. Drift right to left, so of course anything towards the right hand side of the court will be held up and kept in. Is on. Port receiver. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. 
That is fundamentally wrong. Yes, but he hadn't started his serve. Yes, but he hadn't started his serve. He's ready to serve. You can only be faulted if the serve service action has started. No, he hasn't started. Well, this is a point of law and therefore the umpire can ask for the tournament referee. We've both got both the tournament referee and the deputy referee uh, coming on at the same time. Let's listen in. Okay. Uh, Tony is all, all, uh, ready to serve, okay, but Tony, Tony. Sir, uh, Tony. Okay. then Tony moves because he haven't he haven't go, but he moved. Okay. And so I fought receiver. Fought receiver yes. because he moved. Yes. Before the serve. Yes. Okay. I'll I'll get the info. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I fought the fought the receiver. Okay. You fought the receiver. Because he moved before. Yes. Was his was his end still up? Hmm? Was his end up? Is yeah, his hand has nothing to do with it. Was the end of the receiver up? Hmm? That's was got nothing to do with it. Up or the, or the receiver was ready to receive. Okay, the receiver is already to to, to receive. Okay. But after that, well. move. The more they will scream, the, the more I will laugh. Okay. Okay. Now we really need to hear what's been said. No, we can't hear, I'm afraid. Well, I'm really not sure if you at home can hear this. Well, I certainly can't hear now because of the crowd. It, my interpretation, and, and um, it is my understanding, here is an interesting dynamic as well, because, of course, Tommy Sugiato is being coached by Rashid Sadek, who used to be Lee Chong Wei's coach. Well, he's had enough, I think. Yeah. Now, the fact is, is that the reason we have to play to the pace of the receiver is the receiver has to get ready. Now, he's now talking to his coach, Hendrawan. The fact is, until the serve has started, uh, the server has started the service action, the serve hasn't started. So if the serve hasn't started, at that point, the receiver can move as much as they want. For instance, he's walking back to his base position now. If the server got in position and just served, he's, that's not a, a fault receiver. Well... I'm not sure it's worth all the 
aggro and stress and where are you from Singapore is the answer The fact is, the number of times I have seen a server take so long that opponents who have been ready put their hand up and say, he or she is taking too long, need to resettle. And that's allowed. Never, never before have I seen an umpire then call a fault receiver when that has happened. And that is, in essence, what has happened here. I mean, all logic says to me, I know in my interpretation, I believe Lee Chong Wei has a very strong case. I think that the umpire has, in all probability, made an error here. But it's 4-5 in the opening game. Forget it. Get on with it. Get on with the match. Now, a little conference with the tournament referees, deputy referees, umpires. Everybody's getting involved. Everybody's got an opinion. Well, it's something I've never seen before. Always, always before. If a receiver has said, I'm not ready, I'm off balance, uh, then that's it. It's never before have I seen fault receiver. Not when the serve hasn't started. The serve starts, I believe, with the first back motion of the racket. And we could clearly see that Tommy Sugiato was holding the shuttle in front of him and the racket in front of him. He hadn't started the backswing. Now, having made a decision, the tournament referee, a play really needs to resume. Either you need to overturn the decision or you need to get on with it. Here they are, more and more discussions. But, yep, somebody's saying, now, is the tournament referee coming back on? Yes, I think the tournament referee is coming back on. Here we go. Here he is. Eve Colt from Canada. Now, this will be interesting. Is your mic on? Oh. Okay. I, I haven't called the call score yet. Okay. You okay. can, you can make a left. Okay. I can, okay. I can no, 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 no. It's not that. It's that I want to make sure. Did the did the server started his motion? And tell me no. no. Okay. Then it, you cannot yeah. you cannot fault the receiver until the serve is actually started. Okay. So this is where this is where you had this is where you aired. Mm. Okay. Then in this case. Then in this case, we play a left. Okay. okay. Common sense prevails. The rules prevail in the end. Quite right. I, I hope at home you could hear that. The tournament referee reinforcing what I said earlier, that the serve doesn't start until, or you can't fault a receiver until the serve has started. Well, he hadn't started his serve. That was quite obvious. Yes, it is a let. Well, I really do hope you're hearing all of this at home.
Yes, we must play a let. The serve hadn't started. Just reinforcing. Yeah. Well, it is a little disappointing that this is causing such a, an interlude. I'd love to know how long since the last shuttle was struck. I'm not a very good judge of time, but I'd say at least five minutes. Yes, play a let. Well, we got there in the end. All's well that ends well, I suppose, but really has been a little disappointing that it's taken so long to get it all sorted out. Well, this is the only semi-final in progress at the moment. The other quarter's finished. Yeah, it's well taken. Good follow-up from Tommy Sugiate. Greeted with almost silence from the fans. Can't blame Sugiato for what happened there. Good smash. Yes, court needs to be mocked of the perspiration. Oh, it's a good block. It's gone long. Service over. Nine, seven.
There's the drift coming into play. Ten, seven. Missed it. Yeah. Eleven, seven. Well, once again, almost silence from the stunned fans here. And perhaps the build-up of anger from Lee Chong Wei contributing to that error. Oh, it's ironic, isn't it? Former Indonesian world champion, Hendrawan, coaching the Malaysian. And the former Malaysian Olympic bronze medalist coaching the Indonesian. Hot one, 20 seconds. Hot one, 20 yeah, Hendra seconds. Hendrawan just trying to calm his man down. Well, back to the game plan. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Wait for the right opportunity. Huge gap. And just calmly played into the open space. Look at that. Looked as if he was going to thunder down a smash. Just playing the delicate drop. Superb. Straight down the line. I don't know what Hindruan said. Ten, eleven. Well, certainly the first couple of rallies since the mid-game interval seems to have the desired effect. Three points since the mid-game interval, all three points to Lu Chong Wei. Nice change of pace, half smash there from Lee Chong Wei, and he's back level. He's in full flow now, Lu Chong Wei. Six straight points. Look at that. 
It was the drop shot that set up the rally. Seven straight points. 14, 11. Eight straight points. It's always fascinating to me, you know, when there's a bit of a controversy, when you think you've been hard done by. How does an athlete react? Does it distract them? Does it destroy them? Or does it motivate them? Well, those of you who are old enough, like I am, to remember John McEnroe, well, he needed a bit of an argument with one of the court officials before he really unleashed his genius with his racket. It was always a positive thing. He could channel that anger and aggression in the right direction. And Lee Chong Wei seems to have done the same here. Just upped his game. Perhaps needed Hendra one say a few things first to point him in that direction, but that's precisely what's happened. If I was playing against Lee Chong Wei, I'd go out of my way to be nice to him. I wouldn't want him rattled at all. of the last 11 points to Lee Chong Wei. Good return. Crikey, very nearly got it back too. That didn't be missed by much. Service over, 13, 17. Oh, brilliant. Got the net cord. Overdone it. Well, Sugiyato did well in that rally. Stay in there. Yes, that's nice. Service over. 14, 18. It's gone long. Service over. 15, 19. Oh, yeah, that's a nice net shot from Tommy Sugiyato. 16, 19.
Oh. Yeah, he was going to leave it. Suddenly he realised he'd got to play it, Lee Chong Wei. And by the time he made that decision, it was woefully late and then he mistimed it. Oh, the court attendants on to mop up the perspiration. Well, the match clock says 30 minutes. It certainly hasn't been 30 minutes of play time. the shuttle changed. Well, it's rare in men's singles that the players disagree about changing the shuttle. Normally, it's an automatic reaction. Your opponent wants to change the shuttle and the player obliges. A little bit of tension out on court, I assume. defence good rally missed it no, now just one point in it yeah, the scrambling from Tommy Sugiato well, Lu Chong Wei has been playing during December, January. Been playing in leagues in various different countries. That's team competitions. And I have to say that last shot looked a tired shot to me. And of course, having served an eight-month suspension. He wants to get as much match competition as possible, but... You do also need your tra training phases. That's gone long and it's all level, 19 all. could prove costly. Having battled so hard to close the five-point deficit from 14-19, and then an error on the net shot to gift away a game-point opportunity to Lee Chong Wei. Well, Sugiato will be disappointed with that. Oh, it's landed in. There's the drift coming into play. Tommy Sugiato was over-committed looking for the backhand drop shot 21-19 the opening game to the number one seed and the four-time former champion look how he's committed in Tommy Sugiato yeah strange decision but one that the Malaysians will gratefully accept 21-19 34 minutes for game number
call one twenty second. Call one twenty second. Well, with the thirteen previous meetings, Tommy Sugiato has only won a total of two games. So, in other words, only twice has it gone the full distance, gone to three games. It was certainly would have helped his chances had he had taken the opening game here. Because I think Lee Chong Wei is a very, very good front runner. And a game up on home soil, not just Malaysian soil. But having been born in Georgetown, Penang, and we're in Penang right now. Take a huge effort from Tommy Sugiato to turn this around now. Look at that delightful disguise on that. Court. Service over. One, two. Oh, well taken. That is great anticipation. You see, you don't need to be encroaching in on the net. Just be aware that it might be a drop shot and ready to go forward. quick from Lee Chong Wei. Both players trying to send a message to the other. I'm controlling the front of the court. Yeah, good rally. Very good rally. Well played from Tommy Sugiato. Service over. Three, four. drama of the opening game just a little flat at the moment oh that's wonderful yeah no that was in Lee Chong Wei was convinced that it was going to go wide and I think if there wasn't a drift in this arena it would have gone wide uh, the drift bringing it back in it's a good call line judge
But I would take that. What a smash. The athletic ability of Lee Chong Wei. Look at that elevation. He jumped from the base position to play that winner. Absolutely superb. Oh, nice defence. Short. Oh! Very nearly got it back. Service over. No. Oh. So Yato doing well. It's sticking in there. Chong Wei looking to reach his 92nd career final. That is staggering, isn't it? Tommy Sugiyato looking to reach his 16th. Ninety-one finals, winning 60 of them. And some people question whether he can be called great. I wonder what you do have to do. Play. Oh, that's nice. Service over. Seven, six. A little stamp of frustration from Tommy Sugiato, and that's about as cross as I've ever seen him be. And I think he's right to be cross. Looking at that again, it did look to be wide, didn't it? Tommy Sugiato asking for the court to be mopped, which is just giving him a bit more time. Uh, he's grazed his finger, and therefore we're going to have to have the medical team come on. There'll be even more delays. Here we are. Blood injury. He'll want a plaster on that. That won't last for long. And that will feel awkward. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. He's going to look like Rafa Nadal in a minute. All the fingers taped up. can resume. Uh, terrific control at the net.
brilliant smash. Absolutely brilliant from Tommy Sugiato. Look at that, inch perfect. No, I'm not quite sure what happened there with Sugiato. Did he just mistime it? Yeah, just totally mistimed it. So to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage, Lee Chong Wei, a four-time former champion. Sugiato, of course, in case you're wondering about Rashid Zadek coaching him. Tommy Sugiato, an independent player. Oh. oh, that's just extraordinary. Sugiato, one of the best coverers of the court, and he's left stranded by the disguise of the drop shot. the intensity at the moment. Last couple of rallies from Lee Chong Wei. It's this ability that the, the real oh. champions have. It's suddenly injecting pace for three or four rallies. Open up a little gap. A couple of rallies where they just ease off a little. Then the injection of pace again up the intensity. Beautiful. Outmaneuvered. Sugiato. Hold and flick, and it's all done because you take the shuttle early at the net. Lee Chong Wei could have played another net shot. A little hold and flick. That's brilliant.
Yeah, there we are. It's very, very clear, this little injection of pace. Pace of movement as well as pace of shot. Just eases into an eight point advantage. Oh, yes. Brilliant. That seemed to be two and a half steps from the back of the court. That's extraordinary. Two and a half steps all the way from the back, come in and make the kill. Oh. There you go. That's why you don't overcommit. That's something actually that Lee Chong Wei was doing when he first returned after his suspension. Can't afford to overcommit going forward. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. It's toying with him now. Lu Chong Wei. Ten match point opportunities for a fifth final here at the Malaysia Grand Prix Gold. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's wide. Well, he had three, three little swings of the racket before he actually hit the shuttle. <laughs> I think you can say he's confident of winning this. Short. Good rally. Mm. Third match point opportunity for Lee Chong Wei. And the third one saved by Sugiate. Oh, well, well.
That's gone wide as well. So, sixth match point opportunity for Lee Chong Wei. And this time he converts. 21 19, 21 15. Lee Chong Wei through to the final once more. The four-time former champion will tomorrow contest his fifth Malaysia Grand Prix gold final. And for the second time only in the history of this competition, six years after the first time, it will be an all-Malaysian men's singles final. Their confirmation, 21-19, 21-15, and the number one seed, Lee Chong Wei, uh, through to the final once more. Well, what a day it's been. Drama, controversy, excitement, and most of all, we've seen some wonderful badminton. That, of course, is what unfolded during the day. We all started with a magnificent women's singles, and PV Sindhu uh, coming through in three games against the number one seed. So the former champion, PV Sindhu, are through to the final once more. Yu Yang and Tang Huan Ting in only their sixth tournament together are through to their sixth final. And then uh, Zenudin, my goodness me, what a sensation he called. What a difference a year makes. A year ago, he was really unrated and unheralded. But today, he became a star because he beat the number two seed, Shrikant. Kidambi. In the men's doubles, will Ku Kian Kiat and Tam Boon Hyong manage to roll back the years? Coming through in three games, coming down from back from a game deficit to beat uh, Kim Sa Rang and Kim Ji Jung, the number one seeds. And as we've just seen, Lee Chong Wei is through to the final of the men's singles. So an all Malaysian men's singles final tomorrow. Also for a first tomorrow is a European born women's singles finalist. Kirsty Gilmore of Scotland is making history tomorrow. Today, she was the first ever European born women's singles semi-finalist and she's through to the final. So plenty to look forward to for tomorrow's finals here in Penang. It really has been a wonderful day. There's great Babington to come tomorrow on finals day. Same time as today. That's 2pm local time. That's 0600 GMT from all of us here in Penang. Especially from me, Jill Clark. We'll see you tomorrow for finals day. Bye for now.